Welcome to the Top Rank Marketing News Roundup. I'm Tiffany Allen. And I am the one cent future, Joshua Knight. Doesn't make I any mean, sense. Well, like everybody is their once in future. I, I have been Joshua Knight. I intend to be so in the future. That was my big New Year's resolution is to uh, keep keeping it real. I get and it. Extra real. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, in our first story, we have a social media platform. Or wait, we can't call them that anymore. A platform mm. of some sort that is keeping it extremely real in the new year. LinkedIn is rolling out their new... Uh, they're not calling it the new LinkedIn experience, but I really think they should because it sounds like a prog metal band. So we are. Loving it. Yeah. So new LinkedIn experience. Basically, they've moved a bunch of stuff around to match the way that things look in the app. So kind of bringing things together, branding wise. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of profile, it's now just me. Hmm. And click on me. And then you can see all of the different new tweaks that you can make. Uh, there are new specs for the pictures, so you want to check those out on the linked article. Um, your profile picture is now round instead of square, hmm. because most cameras now take round pictures instead of square ones. Okay, so if you're taking pictures with your Snapchat spectacles, then <laughs> it'll be perfect for that. Um, it is, though, it's easier to see profile views on this. It's easier to see what kind of response your content is getting, and it's easier to write updates. So it's, okay. I think it's pretty good news around. Um, it's also easier, they put a notifications page instead of just that little drop down at the top. Nice. So easier to get in touch with people. They stripped out a couple of features from your search, from your ability to categorize things. But on the whole, like this is a good UI. So for marketers, we can see the effects of what we're doing a little easier. I think it's good. Yeah. I'm on board. Time will tell. It looks pretty. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. I'm a little excited to try it out myself. I haven't logged into my own LinkedIn for a while, so maybe that's my next step. I don't have it yet. It's still rolling out. Is it? So you may still have. The way to tell immediately is if the little band at the top is like dark blue, oh. then it's the new LinkedIn experience. Good to know. We'll mm -hmm. have to see. I'll race you. All right. <laughs> a new study shows that five of the ten do top downloaded apps in 2016 were Google Apps Whoa. on smartphones, um, including, of course, Google Search, Gmail, Maps, things like that. YouTube was actually just under Facebook for downloads, which, of course, Facebook remains the number one downloaded app on smartphones. Um, but of the 88% of mobile subscribers that do use smartphones, 53% um, are on Android and 45% are on iOS. So there are more Google-oriented, Google Play Store kind of users mm -hmm. out there. But I'm wondering how Google Pixel is going to change this because, of course, it is a competitive, newish smartphone. So it'll be interesting to see if that makes a difference in the yeah. downloads. I, mean, I know when I got my iPhone, the first thing that I did was go get Gmail and Google Maps. Mm -hmm. and It's just all of those things maybe doing it a little better. And Apple has also, to their credit, opened their garden a little bit to let, like, you can get Google Play Music on mm -hmm. your iPhone. Right. Which I think it's good for Google, it's good for Apple. So it's kind of nice, I think, to see those divisions start to drop. Mm -hmm. But also slightly scary that Google's taking over the whole world. Yeah. Which is fair. I mean, mm -hmm. it knows all about it, so it's an easy transition. Right. And they're always listening, so uh, uh, Google, you're doing great, and we love you. Just keep up the good and, work. Yeah, we hope that you continue to take over everything. Yes. Forever. Mm. <laughs> Hey, Siri, protect me from Google. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. All right, so for our my final story of the day is a little look back at holiday sales. Mm -hmm. We have uh, eMarketer did this great article that rounded up results from a bunch of different reports, a bunch of different metrics to see how sales were. Um, so it turns out there was more stuff being bought, mm. which is good. Yes. But a lot of it was being bought in exchange for discounts. Mm -hmm and free shipping and buy one get one or buy one get one half off which is a thing now it by is. the way they will say buy one get one and then it says half off at the bottom like man no it's not bogo ho it's <laughs> bogo come on <laughs> but anyway stuff like that is makes these high sales maybe uh, not as good news for retailers as you might expect uh, overall not surprising online sales were up brick and mortar sales kind of down um, retail metrics did uh, looked at a group of 110 major retailers and half of the group that they tracked about 53 major retailers will see a lower profit this year Wow so not so great news but the way forward it looks like there is this convergence of the physical and the digital mm -hmm. where people are more likely to buy from a brick-and-mortar store that has an online component so if you can hit 
get that integrated experience, give them a reason to be in the store, give them a reason to visit you online, and give them more options, more better path to purchase, then it seems like you can get there without having to give away the store. Right, yeah, absolutely. I think that same study said that consumer confidence is rising as well. Mm -hmm. So that will help with having you know people coming that want to buy from you and not necessarily just for the discount, but because of brand loyalty and mm -hmm. all those good metrics. Love us. Well, I do have some more Google news for you. Okay. It's never over. <laughs> uh, Google is revoking uh, free full access to the Keyword Planner, as we've seen um, kind of hints of here uh, in the last few months, even the last mm. year. Um, but in order to work around this, Marketing Profs actually has a really interesting idea. Rather than investing in a keyword research tool that you'd have to pay for, taking that money and putting it into a small PPC campaign to do your keyword research um, is something that they've recommended and that can help you understand what your conversion rates will be like, what keywords are available to you, which ones are going to be more beneficial um, to your brand, which are more relevant. Uh, and apparently you can do all of this for about $100 a month. Uh -huh. um, it's a tricky strategy. It's kind of an interesting way to look at things, uh, but I thought I would bring that up to this. Yeah, that is a uh, that is a bit of a blow for marketers, for sure. Yeah. I know that. I feel like though that that creates a void that somebody's going to fill it. Somebody's mm -hmm. going to see the value in giving some of that research away mm -hmm. in exchange for you know maybe capturing a lead or you know having a premium service. So. While the market shakes out on that, I, I think we'll be all right. I think so too. It's going to be okay. Google loves us and cares about us and wants us to be happy. That's, yes. I have to believe that. We always have options, of course. <laughs> right. One of those options is to check out the new LinkedIn experience. I don't know. One of those options is to cry silently in a corner, but I don't recommend that one. Not yeah. recommended. Not a recommended approach. Yeah, Google can hear you when you're crying and they don't like it. <laughs> we'll be back next week with more online marketing news, but if you need more in the meantime, you can go to the Top Rank blog at toprankblog.com or follow Top Rank on Twitter at Top Rank. Yep, and I am at Night Rights on Twitter. That's N-I-T-E Rights. I'm at Tiffany underscore Allen, and we'll be back next week. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.